Hey everyone, Jenny Strebe here, and today's tutorial is gonna be on the knotted faux hawk. Let's go and get started. So on my gorgeous model Eliana here, I'm gonna actually add some curl to her hair just a little bit. I did add some texture foam by Air in there that'll be available by October 2019. Um, so that's just giving a little grit and texture. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a one inch curling iron and just add some bend and some light texture to it. You don't need to take perfect sections for this, but what we're gonna do is hold it out, open the tongue and just wrap it around holding it there just for a few seconds and then releasing. And we're gonna do this technique um, throughout the whole head. So as you can see, it has just slight texture to it. I didn't want to add too much curl, but just a little bit of wave. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is create a triangle section from her crown to high recession. We're going to go ahead and section that out using a tail comb. Now we're going to go ahead and clip um, the bottom half away and work with this triangle section. I'm just going to take a clip. Clip this into place for now. Release this top section. And I wanna create a little bit of volume up here. Everything's gonna go back. So what we're gonna do is take the tail comb. We're gonna create zigzag sections. Turn her here, going back down. Taking the end of the tail comb and just zigzag sections. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're just gonna lightly back comb at the root area just for a little bit of height. So get in there, zigzag sections. It's just gonna help interlock the sections together. A couple more here, all the way to the crown. Now, if your client's hair is resistant to teasing, like if it's just doesn't have that texture that Eliana has, I would suggest adding maybe a mousse in there or something to give it a little bit more grit. Okay, so we're pulling that back. We're going for kind of like a pompadour kind of feel up here. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do, before releasing the bottom clip, we're gonna pull this hair back. And I'm just gonna use my fingers at this point because I want it to be kind of loose, soft looking. We're gonna go ahead, pull it back to where the tip of that triangle is ever so slightly twist it and then push it forward, okay? I'm gonna take my bobby pin, the lip facing down, skim through the top of it, flip it around, push it towards the front, locking that into place. That's also gonna help kind of push all this hair forward to create all that volume. So again, you guys can see. Lip is facing down. I'm gonna flip it around and we're gonna push it forward. You can see we have all this hair left over. We're gonna go ahead and drop this clip from underneath out. We're gonna spread this hair out. Half of it is gonna to go to the right and half of it is going to go to the left. Now we're gonna do a zigzag parting from that crown to the nape of the neck. We're gonna work with the right side first, so we're gonna go ahead and clip this left side away for later. And we're gonna create a knotted technique all the way down from the crown to the nape of the neck. So I'm just taking, you can take your fingers if you'd like. I'm taking a tail comb and just kind of doing the zigzag going back so that it's not perfect, because you don't want to see that like line, you want it to look pretty organic. So now we're gonna grab the hair, and just working with my hands now. Dividing the hair in half, I'm gonna go ahead 
and take this at a slight diagonal. Divide the hair in half and then create our first knot. Okay, simple knot. Secure it into place. Now on the right, we're gonna grab some hair. I'm just gonna use my fingers at this point. Grabbing hair into this right side and then on the left side, we're gonna grab hair. Again, just doing a knot. This is great because it's perfect for like any beginner braider or someone that doesn't feel overly confident with updos because everyone knows how to knot their hair or knot their shoe. So it's a really easy technique for beginners. And then when you run out of hair, you're just gonna continue to do your knotting technique and then we're gonna secure the ends with a hair elastic. I'm gonna use clear in this case, since our hair is so blonde. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side and then we'll connect the two together. All right, moving on to this side, we're gonna go ahead and take our finger, same thing here. Take a section of hair, just kind of an organic section, and then we're gonna go ahead and split it in half. And we're gonna go ahead and create our knot. We're gonna angle that section down, create our first knot. So now we're gonna grab more hair connect to the left, connect to the right, and then continue down another knot. Now we're gonna continue down and then secure the ends with a hair elastic. I have one ready to go here on my finger. Now we're gonna connect it. It's what you do after that makes this look so special. So we're gonna connect these two and pull it apart a little bit and then tuck this in. So now I'm gonna use some textured air. Super excited about this. This is a dry texture spray um, that is actually infused with crystals. It has crystal quartz and mica in it for grit and texture. We're gonna spray it. This is gonna allow some hold to it. Now we're gonna take some hairpins, okay? And we're gonna just connect it. So I'm gonna pull these together and kind of go over this first initial body pin area and it's like you're almost weaving it in. So connecting it, weaving it in, and pushing it down. Connecting these guys, the same thing. Taking our hairpin, let me go on this side here. And you're going back and forth, weaving it and pushing it down. We're gonna take this, and we're just gonna tuck it under and then bobby pin it from underneath. So now I'm just gonna stretch our little knots, pulling it apart. going on the sides and kind of taking my palms, letting some of those little flyaways, the baby hairs come down to create some softness. And she actually has this really adorable clip line called 8% Heaven. And we're gonna use one of her little clips. So I think I am gonna actually use this one. So this one here is just a comb. What we're gonna do is push it forward, okay? And then push it down. 
and I'm just gonna bend it slightly and just embellish it with that. Looks really cute. We're gonna go ahead and now, I like to get my fingers in there at the end and take some more texture air, spray it and pull it forward to create that nice kind of feel through in there. And that is about it, you guys. So easy, very delicate, and you know, all you have to do is knot the hair and add a little texture. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it.